Hello everyone. Today I am excited because we are making ham choy chao sui chu nyuk, which is basically sliced beef at preserved mustard green with fermented rice wine residue. This dish is spicy, sweet, and everything delicious. Trust me, my mouth waters every time I think of this. It looks difficult, but trust me, it's quick and easy. Two, three, let's go. <laughs> Welcome everyone to my 100 recipe challenge. I am quite excited for this video because it's my favorite recipe. Don't forget ingredient list at the end of this video. And now let's start the prep work. I am using store bought mustard greens. Make sure to clean and soak them in water for an hour as it is extremely sour if not cleaned properly. After an hour, Cut the mustard greens into bite sizes. Next, take around 500 grams of beef and slice them. It should be thinly sliced. We will tenderize the beef so slicing them will be tender and juicy in our stir fries. Let's well with them with salt. oil, egg white, cornstarch, chicken stock and now let's mix them together really well. Take a small piece of ginger and slice them long and thin. Next, chilies. You can cut as many as you want. I'm using 3 medium size here. And now for the stir fry. Take oil in a heated pan. Make sure to coat them all over. Stir fry the garlic first. As usual, I'm using pre made minced garlic. You can always use fresh garlic cloves and mince them. Stir fry them in the oil properly and then add in the ginger. Next add the fermented rice wine residue. This adds a unique sweet and sour taste to the dish. Stir it in the hot oil and then add in the beef. Stir them all together really well. Add in the mustard greens, next the green chilies, again mix them together well. Add in the sugar to balance out the spiciness. For a little gravy, I added in a little hot water. Because the beef already has cornstarch in it, the gravy will slowly thicken up. Now mix them together really well. And ta-da! We have our dish ready. The dish is sweet, spicy, the beef is tender, the mustard green is sour. Can you imagine all of this kicking in your taste buds? 
it's just the bestest hakka dish ever and you must definitely try it